within a matter of hours now. Polling stations close and counting kicks off to decide just who will be the next President of the United States. After one of the most chaotic, one of the most intriguing election campaigns in recent US history, the race for the White House is expected to go down to the wire. The millions of Americans casting their ballots are being offered deeply contrasting visions for their country. In the race's final hours, Kamala Harris held a star-studded rally on the rocky steps in Philadelphia with a message of unity, while Donald Trump compared himself to Abraham Lincoln overnight and ramped up his rhetoric on import tariffs and border controls. Both candidates striving to win every last possible vote before those polling stations close. As to what they're doing today, well, the Vice President is keeping a very low profile. She is doing a series of radio interviews from her residence here in Washington, D.C. Donald Trump, as you saw at the top of the program, was out and about, accompanied by his wife Melania. He cast his ballot near his West Palm Beach mansion of Mar-a-Lago, and he spoke about how he saw election night in America potentially playing out for him. On the assumption I win, I mean, I don't know if uh, something else happens. I don't know what's going to happen in terms of declaring victory. But uh, if in normal times I would go over to the convention center, let's say at 10 o'clock or 11 o'clock or something, but I just don't know. It looks like we have a very substantial lead. It looks like we have many more Republicans voting today than Democrats. So if you have a lead and we have a bigger vote, that means you're doing very well. But they have to call a winner. They should. And they should call a winner, yes. Uh, Donald Trump casting his ballot there, which he can still do, of course. He's a convicted felon in the United States, which rules him out from voting in most of the country. But there's some arcane rule that has allowed him to still cast his ballot for, I'm assuming, himself as the next president of the United States. Catherine and James, we have finally arrived. I thought personally this day would never come, given how up and down and chaotic this election campaign is. But so far, things are going pretty smoothly here. And Michael, uh, what is the atmosphere like this morning in uh, the United States? You've been travelling around, of course. What's it like there in uh, D.C.? Uh, D.C. Is, is relatively calm, but uh, I mentioned yesterday the number of shop fronts near the White House being boarded up. Well, that has increased overnight uh, just near where we are outside the U.S. Capitol building. Uh, shop fronts here are being boarded up as well in anticipation of potential trouble. Let's hope it's only potential trouble either tonight or if there's a long delay in counting and a period of uncertainty, volatility, which could run for a, a few days, if not more. So no, uh, no, uh, nothing's been left on the table. Everything is being put in a state of preparation here. Similarly, in a lot of the state capitals where there could be trouble as well, but so far here in D.C., the capital of the nation, the very heart of American politics, things are going well.